What's up friends? It's Isaac from Big Bike BMX and today we are going to swap the stickers on my big flyer because I just got a new custom uh, sticker set from Ride Out Supply. Uh, I did this before on my Big Ripper and uh, a lot of you liked it, some of you didn't, but we'll see how this goes. But I'm really psyched because this is a, uh, I'll show you my bike, but uh, this is a, like the new pink that they came out with. It's pink and yellow and I wanted a bit of a drop on it. I apologize you guys it's super windy out like when hearing all the trees but uh i'm super psyched about this one because i think it's gonna look really dope uh and so i'm just gonna walk through how i do this and how i try and ensure that it looks the best so wish me luck All right, so the first thing I need to do is uh, basically mark off where it says Big Flyer now, uh, because I wanna make sure that it lands kind of in the same spot. This here is one sticker, and then there's one on the other side. So this is one big plastic sticker. I'm gonna peel this off, but I'm gonna mark where it's at first. So here's what I've done. Uh, basically take a piece of tape here so I know where the end of the apostrophe goes. Same thing here. And then this is going to tell me where the top of the F and L is. So that way I know kind of basically where it's at. So now basically I'm just going to go through and peel this off and probably go stick it on the, on the Humvee. We'll see. All right, so now I'm left with my template there. Now this, the sticker, you can see where my mark was, goes over a little bit there, a little bit over there. And that's fine, I'm just gonna center it between the two tape marks, but I wanna make sure it's at the right spot, the height, -wise, height wise. So because this is wide enough up here, I'm gonna peel this back, push this underneath, line it up here and that's how I know that it's centered up and down on this top two. Okay. Tape there. I did I did have to lower it a bit because the, the sticker gets a little bit bigger than the stock sticker. So centered it how I wanted it. Now if you, if you watch my other video I kind of go into how I do this but uh, I'm going to take probably I'll go to this side probably pull this original piece off I tape over the top and then the bottom to hold it in place where I want it so it's flat I'm gonna readjust this because I'm doing this with one hand to show you but uh, I'll, I'll get this where I want it I'll peel this back rip the backing off and then press it down and then go the other way that way uh, I'm not just sitting here trying to eyeball it when I come in all right, that's lined up the where that's going to look the best. I'm going to peel this back to here. Then I'm going to rip off the backing, stick this down, peel this, remove this, remove this, peel this back, and then slide it down, and I should have a flat decal. All right, side of the backing peeled. I peeled the top off, ripped the backing off behind there, and then I'm just going to flip this back over so it's taut and then I'll press it on. Now I gotta use both hands for this because I wanna get it straight, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. All right, so gone through. What I do is I go over each, each one of these and I press it down like my thumb is an eraser to try and get that good bond. Right Out Supply has probably the best vinyl that I've ever come across. Leaves good stuff but it is a little bit colder because it is uh what, what is it? february it's still cold here in arizona so my frame isn't warm uh so the the adhesive i like to warm it up a little bit and just make sure i have a good bond on there so this doesn't have the backing 
this does. So now I'm gonna remove this as my marker, set it up here so I can do this on the other side without using a bunch of masking tape because I'm cheap and I already ripped this stuff off. So. Peel that off and I'll be right back. And there we go. So now the fun part, peel this off and we can do these reveal. Now the other thing I'll do is these stickers will overlap. Um, if you get a drop, like a, a drop shadow on it. So I will, once I peel it off, I'll, I'll show you what I do. There is the, the final look. And then what I'll do is I'll go through and just make sure that I get all the air bubbles out from any of the overlap. And kind of see where I've done it. And that way I get a good bond and boom. So give you some contrast. There it is with the drop shadow that's pink. There it is with just big flyer. So it's up to you to decide. Already did the head badge. Love that. So it's pretty much that, that simple installing your new kit now. Gotta do the forks, the other side, and then I'll be back. Now that's on, I'm gonna go through and press it again, just to make sure I get a good bond. And we'll move to the other side. All right, so we got the tape down again. There and there. And what this does is this, on the other side, matches up with where the stickers are there. And there. Ah, you know, I'm being lazy, I should just show you. So, gave myself a little bit of padding there and almost right up on it there. So I know if I get this right up on it on that side, we should have just a little bit of room on this side and we are golden. And then I know my stickers are centered. Let's go. So bumped it up here. I see the end there. Gives me a little bit of play before it starts. It's about as centered as I can get it. So now I can remove the masking tape. There and there. Peel this back, peel this off, push it against the frame, and we'll reveal. And so here we go with the reveal. And you can see this, you can see this outline because I pressed it in there because I want to make sure I get a good firm seal. It's my son taking the trash out. Best reason to have kids. I don't have to do that stuff anymore. I'm just kidding. That dude is dope. Good kid. All right. Now, fork, and I'm done. Here we go. Landing gear. Big fire. And it matches so dope with that night sprocket yellow chain. Night stem, seat post clamp, ODIs. 
Love the way this bike turned out, man. It looks so dope. There you go. There's a good picture. And then, hey, when you're done, stick the sticker on your truck. There you go. Wrapping it up. Head tube. That just goes right over the top of the sticker. I didn't even take it off. Right out supply up there. Down to the fork. Fork. Boom. And now I'm about to get run over by my wife, so I'm gonna bounce. All right. So you wanna know, this is also yellow spoke covers. Turn white. And the big flyer also reflective landing gear reflective badge reflective so boom